Hey friends! So it is your host Jaleesa Cogdell with another video about this makeup. So first we're going to clean my fingers which you guys have already seen I'm going to be using to prime my face. Before I put on any makeup, I recommend you clean your hands. I already washed my hands but I want to make sure that my hands are cleansed so I just put that hand sanitizer on. Now I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is my favorite go-to. If you watch me for a long time, you know that I always utilize this primer until I find another one that suits my skin. But I love this one. Especially with the winter months, my skin gets a little bit drier than normal. I have combination skin, but I just noticed this one works really good. So I like to make sure I thoroughly penetrate this all over my skin. I make sure I press it into my skin, especially my forehead and my nose. <laughs> because I can get a little bit oily in my T-zone area. So I like to make sure that I have a primer. And then for my eyes, I like to use the NYX HD Photogenic primer first. I just like to utilize the Dofa applicator and apply that to my eyelid like so. And then sometimes I will mix this with the Essence Eye Stage, um, but I really like the NYX one first just because it gives a nice base coat before I put on any like light color or dark color, any shimmers. I really make sure the eye is prepped for any color I'm going to be utilizing in each palette. Whether it's this one that I have in my hands, the Juvia's Place, or my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I really like to utilize this one first and then I, if I need it, I'll put the Essence Eye Stage on top just to ensure that I have a nice thick coat of primer before I utilize any eyeshadows, especially my shimmers. This is really, really good for the inner tear duct just to make sure it pops and looks seamless. So I'm going to actually go over top with the Essence Eye Stage for this tutorial today. You're going to see me do that in a few moments. But as you can see, I really take my time. That's what I feel like a lot of makeup artists don't go over. And then I seal it with my LA Colors powder. Um, I really like this powder. I've been having it for a long time now and I'm just using another brush. I'm going to be showing you guys what brushes that I do have. There's some new ones that I have, but I tap off the access and then I just place that right into the center of my eyelid and then it prepares me for the eyeshadows that I'm using today just to do something different. I was inspired by blue, it's one of my favorite colors, so I hope you guys like what you see. So look what I was blessed with, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Eye Master Collection. I am so excited. You guys, there's eight like amazing Morphe brushes within here. So you guys know that Jaclyn Hill did a collaboration with the brushes about, I think, almost half a year ago, maybe a little bit more. But I am so excited to have these a part of my collection now. I didn't even know which ones to use first. I was just so in awe of the Lord just looking at them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just start off using each one that I feel like would would be necessary for me to blend different eyeshadows together to create a look I'm looking I'm going for a look like a blue winter glam look so I was trying to find brushes that I feel like oh my gosh you guys are so soft you guys oh my goodness I was trying to find brushes that would utilize that so I'm using the uh, J833 one that's the first one I can find and I feel like that's going to be a great starter just to blend out the transitional color. So I'm using this one up top, um, one of those up top. I want to see which one I want to use. I'll post a picture if I can remember <laughs> which one I picked. But um, I am so in love with this palette. And of course, I love my BH Cosmetics. It's my Rare Palette Mirror. It's just such a great mirror for makeup purposes. Even though there's a mirror behind the camera, I just love this one. It's nice and up close and personal. And the brush, oh my god, such a huge difference. It really applies the color onto your eye. Like seamlessly. Like it, it really is super soft. It just feels like butter. Like it just feels like butter on your eyelid. So cool. I was kept looking at this mirror and the other mirror just to see if it was showing for you guys but it really does show I'm looking back now as I edit and I'm like wow god you're so good like this color is really showing like the pigmentation is amazing this is just my transition shade so that's pretty amazing I try to get a color that's kind of close to what my concealer would almost look like I don't want anything exactly like my concealer shade but that's what I usually go for for a transitional shade just to prepare my eyelid for a deeper color even if it's like a natural look I still try to get a color like even this I could actually just wear this by itself you know what I mean pop on some 
eyeliner and mascara be out the door but this is actually a nice color and then this next brush jesus it's just amazing what morphe brushes can do this is the jaclyn hill 32 and i love this one so this is going to be the start of this blue glam look It was so hard to decide which color to choose from, so I'll show you guys. So I'm going with these colors down the bottom, so I'm just kind of just working it out, let the Holy Spirit have his way. But um, I was just like, man, Lord, which one should I choose? So I just let him lead me, because I just wanted it to be like a glam blue look, but I didn't want something too... <gasps> Do you guys see the pigmentation? I was like, oh my gosh, yes, Lord. You picked the great one. So I wanted to just dab lightly, and I noticed the color was coming off. And I was just dabbing lightly, because normally, as a melanin brown skin beauty, it is really difficult for blues to show on the eye. Like, that is, like, super hard. Like, oh my goodness. That's how you know this pigment is absolutely amazing so i wanted to showcase to all my brown skin beauties out there the pigmentation of this palette is divine and i wanted to just kind of blend it out and just kind of deepen up that eye on the outer layer of my eye and kind of just go in towards the middle of mine not hitting the inner tear ducts but it's the inner corner um it's just amazing like i was so impressed i was like wow the color is really showing up. Now, I didn't even use any Fix Plus. I didn't use, like, um, any more concealer. I didn't, you know, I didn't even use concealer. All I used was the eye primer. So I can only imagine if I was to do a cut crease, how amazing this color would look, like, doing it that way. Like, it's just, wow. I'm just a lost for words. You can really see the color. Like, you can, you don't have to, like, squint. You can really see the blue color on my eye. That's absolutely amazing i was literally lost for words i was like god you're so good like what so i went ahead and did the other eye so you guys can see i'm now i'm using this other brush sorry the camera's not focusing the best i was trying to get it to focus um but i had this other that's how it looks so you guys know how it looks but i'm gonna go in with another color so that pretty aqua glitter shade right there i'm gonna use all three of them and i'm just super excited because i just love blue and i want to do something different than i normally would i don't know if you guys see the color payoff but it's super pretty it's like a green like aqua color it's just gorgeous and i want it right on top of that blue that i put earlier just to make it tone down just a little bit i didn't want this look to be too dramatic i was going for more glam not dramatic so i was trying to make sure I utilize that glitter color on top just to soften it some to give it more girly effect and not like smoky you know dramatic like serious i want to look more playful more girly you know so i think that that really helped that glitter shade right on top really brought the color payout like it really made it look more girly like ariel like a princess you know so i was just going for that look so this is super pretty like you guys i was so excited like i was like god you're so good i had a price break if you don't have a price break during your your, your natural sessions like if it's doing your hair or your makeup honey add that to your routine just break out in the praise break that's what i do so i just keep applying this on and just gently kind of dusting it on there. But of course, applying it onto my eyelid. But I'm just dusting it on there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the left one. But the left one is so glam to me. Like, it's just super pretty. It kind of looks like a shadow effect. Like, an, like a, a glow shadow effect. That's what I was going for. Like, I was just, like, so excited. Like, God, you're so good. Like, I love it. Like, yes, Lord, yes. And then I went with that same transitional shade just to make sure... There's no harsh lines on the top part of my eye. Just kind of just going back in, make sure I didn't get any smudges and, you know, make sure everything's nice and clean and crisp, the best of my ability. Because God has been teaching me, he's been showing me, so I was like, wow, God, you're so faithful. So, I put my lashes on because I know that takes me a minute. God is helping me with those too. And then I'm using this brush. The, the camera is not focusing, guys. Sorry about that. But I used that brush right there so you can see how it looks. A little smaller brush. Um, but I'm just so in love. I was like, wow, God, you're so faithful. So as you guys can see, like I just keep like going in. And now I'm going to my inner duct with that beautiful aqua glitter color. I just felt like it would be perfect to put there because of just how it looks. It's just super pretty. And just so you guys know that that small little brush was called JH40. So the only brushes I used were four. 
So I used the JH33, JH32, JH40, and then I'm going to be using the JH42. So I only, had, I only was able to use four brushes for this look, and um, I'm actually impressed. I didn't need a whole bunch. Of course, you can use all eight, but I'll probably use the other eight in another video. Um, just comment below what colors you want me to utilize, and I can do that. I saw there's like a little bit of, I think that's my mascara, so I just kind of just took that off of my eyelid. Um, but I'm in love with this color. Oh, I was like, God, yes. Like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I love it because for one, blue is definitely a beautiful color. It just represents the power of God. And I'm just like so excited um, just to utilize it. Oh, I just love this color. It's such a pretty color. Blue is so gorgeous. Like, wow. Alrighty, now I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I am in the color 430, I believe. Yep, 4, 430. But I probably could do 440, but you know. Yeah. So I am super excited to just show you guys the finished look already. Even though we're almost there, but this foundation with this eye makeup look is just divine. So I had to pair them together because I wanted to utilize my old brushes <laughs> just so I can kind of see like okay I can still you know utilize my old brushes still I don't have to throw them away you know what I mean so I'm just I'm just so in love like God is just so faithful like he's been showing me so much you guys like over the past year just about my hair and my skin um just like what products work for my skin type because I have oily so I have oily and I have natural so I'm a combination type of skin um i just been loving the skincare routines that i've been utilizing with this whole winter season so i'm just excited for what else god has in store even the lashes he's been helping with my eyelashes my eyebrows like he's helping with everything um i'm still learning how to contour so you'll see a little bit of that today but i just thank god like i'm just i'm just me like i'm not trying to be nobody else but the way god made me so um next Wow, I'm just so in love with that eye look so pretty. I'm going to conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I love this color. I'm so happy that I found it on all of the makeup that I use today will be in the description box below. So you guys will know what I utilize. But I'm so happy that God led me to this color. Because it's really like divine. It just matches the brightening that I wanted. I didn't want to be too bright. I just wanted to lighten up the areas just a tad bit. So I just thank God that it worked out perfectly. I like to get my upper lip and just the bottom of my chin and then of course my forehead. And then here I'm going to try to just contour a little bit just because I want to keep working with my beauty blender. Shout out to Influencer. Thank you for sending me the complimentary package of the beauty, beauty blender X Redo. I'm so grateful to God for that spray and those beauty blenders because those sponges have definitely changed the game for my makeup like I thank God so I have my concealer on you guys and now I'm going to blend honey blend 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 there's my beauty blender now you guys are gonna see the difference between when I would use my brush versus this beauty blender it's just amazing what God can do like I'm like so amazed like so now I gently just kind of tap first and then I go back in and tap more but look at how it's highlighting my face it just gives me like a lighter look I am still just blown away like at what God can do. Like, do you see the difference? Now, of course, I'm going to go back in, but I, I see that natural glow. I have like a glow now. The difference, look at the difference of that side versus this side. Okay, now I'm going to try this side so you guys can see. So I just gently tap it with the pointed side of the beauty blender, and then I kind of turn it around and do the bottom part just to kind of blend it in there and it just looks so beautiful and I'm not done I go back over it again but I want you guys to see like the first part of it because I learned that with beauty blender blending honey is where it's at so the more you blend the more seamless the look will be so right here I'm blending then I use the other side and just kind of turn it around and what I noticed was I want to try the beauty blender dry this time and the next time I try it dampen I want I just want to see the difference because um, I just noticed that everything doesn't work for everybody so I want to try different ways so I can see what works for me what I like best what just works but what I do know what's been helping I clean my beauty blender every single time I use it just like my real technique sponge 
but of course those kind of go bad quicker over time versus this one I can just tell this has a lot more longevity of usage so I recommend you guys clean your sponges every single time you need makeup like clean them after you're finished and I let mine dry overnight and it's right back to its normal size and it's just so good. So see, I'm going back over it again. I just want you guys to see like what I do. And then I go to this eye and just let it have its way. So I just go over it gently. Um, and then I just kind of turn it around the other side. But it looks so natural on my face. I actually forgot that I had the foundation on. That's how amazing the Fenty Beauty foundation is. Because I forgot I had it on. It just looks like natural to me. And I know a lot of people are thinking, like, that color's too light, the color blah, 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 But as you guys can see, it oxidizes onto my skin. Then I go into my highlighter by It's My Ray Ray. And I love the radiant color, y'all know. <laughs> so I put that on my cheekbones, my nose, my upper lip, and my other cheekbones. Sometimes I put it on my forehead, and of course, sometimes I put it on, on my chin, just depends. And I like to make sure I brush that in to make sure it blends in. Girl, blend, honey, blend, blend. I prefer highlight over blush. I'm just not a blush type of girl, but I really enjoy highlighting. So I pray you guys had a phenomenal time watching this video, and I look forward to doing more for you. Just put any comments below in the description box below if you what colors you'd like me to do next time. But I'm just so grateful to God for this look. And then I finish off with just this color that I got from LA Colors just to get some color back into my skin. But this was so much fun, and I just thank God for these brushes and this palette, and it just came together so well. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe to this video. God bless you guys.